In this video, you're going to learn the learn to fly technique. How would it feel to know that you needed to have a challenging conversation with, with a, a, a partner or with an employee or a colleague or a friend? And you really wanted to be able to have that conversation with love, right? But yet when, when we're anxious or when we're concerned or upset, if somebody's done something that we don't agree with, it can be hard to drop into your heart, right? And for many of us who didn't grow up in a loving household, it may be a challenge for us just to connect with love anyway, right? Well, that's what you're going to get to learn in this video. Like all my techniques, it is a simple yet so effective technique. And once again, using the power of our wonderful brains to help us get what it is that we want and feel the way that it is that we want to feel. So I'm going to start out by telling you how to do the technique. And then we'll spend a minute or two doing the technique together. Okay? All right. And, and feel free to share this with anybody. Uh, this, I would just love for everybody to be able to feel love. And it's called fly because it's, a, it's called feel love for yourself. And, and, and yes, that is what you're going to feel ultimately because that's, really you know the goal here right we all really want to feel love for ourselves but it, it often can feel the most difficult so there's steps that we're going to take they're going to be little breadcrumbs along the way to help you get to that point i know if you're like me you heard some love yourself love yourself love yourself and you're like how do i do that i don't even have a framework for that this is that framework this is laying the foundation so there will be no, you, you won't have to force that. It will just come naturally, okay? All right, so the first step is to think of something that you love all the time. And there can't be any conditions placed on it. So that like maybe one day um, that person acted in a certain way and so you, don't, you can't feel so much love for them. Like I started out feeling, using my dog, Lady, and then she pooped on the carpet in the middle of the night, right? So it's really hard to get me to that place uh, in the morning. So I landed on trees. If you follow me at all, you know I'm kind of tree obsessed. And so I, uh, I use trees. That's my thing that I feel love for. So, and it's all right if you end up needing to change it. But think of something right now that you can really feel love for and that you feel like you feel love for pretty consistently it can be a grandchild it can be a pet it can be trees it can be the stars okay all right you got that all right and so the next step is the ideal is to do this first thing in the morning when you wake up and the reason for that is it primes your brain it gets your brain going so that it's easier to, to find that feeling of love throughout the day. So when you first open your eyes, you're gonna think of this thing that you feel love for, and you're just gonna think about that person or thing. Think of all the reasons why you love that person or thing. Like for me, and for trees, I love the way the, spark, the sun sparkles through the leaves. I love the way the bark smells. I love the way the bark feels. I love the way that the branches move in the wind. I mean, I just can go on and on about trees. <laughs> and, and you want something like that, if you can find something like that, right? So just think of all those things that you love and just feel that for a minute or two, for as long as you can really stay in that flow of feeling for love, love, okay? And you're gonna do that for a week or two till it just feels really 
comfortable and natural. And maybe it's something that you drop into during the day. Maybe you just remember that throughout the day. So it just want you want to do that until you can get really comfortable and natural with that. Okay? And then the third step is to allow that sense of love to come back to you. It's almost as if it's a stream of love going there towards that thing and then it's coming back to you. And it's just like this loop of coming back to you and going to that thing that you love. Coming back to you and going and come and going to that thing you love. I got that messed up, but you know what I mean. And there's just like this flow, this loop of flow. And it's okay if you can't get to that right now. If you can't get to that point. If you, all you do is spend the next year waking up every morning and feeling love for whatever it is that you feel love for, you will be in such a better place than you are right now, than you could ever imagine. It's that powerful. And so don't force it. it this is not a force. Like I said, this is just kind of, a, this is a flow. This is a flow state. And it's just a matter of learning because so much we didn't have role models, right? We didn't, um, a lot of us didn't have, didn't know, we didn't get that feeling of love when we were younger. And we just don't have, we just don't know what that constant feeling of love is. And this primes the pump, right? Have you ever pumped something? You know, like if you start a, a fountain, a water fountain, there's this kind of initial thing where the pump kind of, and it's pulling the water up, 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 and then you get the fountain. That's what this is. This is the fountain of love. <laughs> but, so that's what you're, that's what you're going to do. Okay. Does that make sense? All right. So let's do it real quickly together. Think of that object or thing that you feel love for. Okay. And then just think of all the things that you love about that object or thing. That's it. That's it. That's great. Oh, beautiful. All right. And if you're ready, then let that love flow back to you. And if you're not, just keep feeling love for that object or thing. Okay. That's perfect. That's beautiful. That's fantastic. All right, so there you go. That's the learn to fly technique. Doesn't it kind of feel like, do you kind of feel buzzy, buzzy inside, you know? <laughs> that's how I, that's how I feel. Kind of makes me feel all buzzy and that's uh, one of the reasons how I came up with the name. So that's the technique. If you, I'd love to hear in the comments uh, your experience of doing this. If you want to share what it is that you're focusing on loving, I'd love to hear that. And, um, and if you have any questions, feel free to email or message me and I'd love to answer them. And thank you so much. Doing this each day is really going to shift the way your days go. You will be able to find that feeling of love so much more easily. You will be kinder to yourself you'll be, you'll feel kinder to those around you and, and you'll just appreciate your day and what happens in your day so much more. So I wish you many blessings. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye.